Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. We begin here at five with an hour long terrifying crime wave. A man with a knife targeting five people this morning, forcing several of them to ride along during his spree. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio is in Bridgeport with alarming new details about what happened. His reign of terror ended when he crashed a Volkswagen Jetta in this field behind me. Police say the suspect's crime spree started at this condo building here in the South Loop at 15th and Wabash. He entered the building and held a woman at knife point. He beat her and sexually assaulted her in the elevator. Sources say during the attack, the woman's eye socket was broken. She works for the Chicago Police Department. The man forced that woman he assaulted and two other women in the building into a unit and robbed them. Went to the apartment, burglarized their apartment. I guess he threatened them with a knife. Police say after this, another man walked into the unit and he was also held at knife point and robbed by the suspect. Walking back into their car. Police say the suspect then forced the three victims into one of the women's cars and drove here to this subway. Sources say the suspect took $400 from the register and forced the man to go into the subway with him. That man was able to get away. During that time, the suspect also cut a 36 year old man in the subway on his shoulder. The unit's being advised it was a white Volkswagen, possibly a Jetta, took off westbound 31 and Halsted, rubbed that subway at knife point. Units be advised, the vehicle struck a 911 squad car and went westbound on 31st from Halsted. The suspect then made his way here to West 31st Street and South Pitney Court. We believe we have that um, white sedan. It's at 31st and Pitney. It crashed through the empty lot of the side. Police sources say he lost control of the car here and ended up flying out of the vehicle through the windshield upon impact. We got him. We got him. He's in the middle of the field. All right, who is this? For him. He's uh, not moving. Two more victims in the middle of the field here. After the suspect crashed the car in this field, two ambulances were called. So it's going to be two victims that need an ambulance or three with the two victims and the offender? Two victims and an offender. All right, 10 4. We're getting another one on the way. All three women were taken to a hospital for treatment. The man that was cut on his shoulder in the Subway restaurant, he refused any medical treatment. In Bridgeport, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News.